Come by everyone from Portland, Oregon. Happy Sake Day. Crafting something special is never easy. And when you're a pioneer, there isn't a guide to follow. With every bottle we brew, we're achieving our passion for sharing premium craft sake in America. The story of how sake one began its growth is not unlike our fine brewing partners in Japan. Where and how you brew premium sake matters. Each drop contains aromas and flavors that are genuine reflections of the natural surroundings and local community. For these reasons, the Pacific Northwest is a uniquely ideal place to craft premium sake. There are only four ingredients in pure sake. We meticulously select the rice, koji, and yeast. But water is different. You need to have access to great water to brew truly great sake. At Sake One, our craft process always begins with pristine Oregon water. Crisp, clean, with an ideal balance of softness and minerality. It's a luxury few sake breweries outside of Japan possess. It's a big reason why the Pacific Northwest is an ideal place to brew sake. Getting to know premium sake is an incredible journey, one of culture, history, and tradition. As a premium craft brewer and exclusive importer of fine Japanese sake, we can't wait to show you the way. Kanpai. Hello everyone, we are presenting this Sayuri Nigori Sake from our museum in Kobe, Japan. This is Hakutsuru Sayuri Nigori Sake. Sayuri means a little lily and is also used for the name of Japanese girls and women. Sayuri was created to embody the gracefulness of Japan. Using only selected rice and rice koji, this nigori sake is brewed up carefully with natural water from Mount Roko. Sayuri nigori sake means cloudy sake. Uh, it is creamy and it has a natural sweetness with a note of fresh banana and fresh melon. This sake is 100% gluten free and also 100% sortified free. When you drink this uh, sayuri nigori sake, Shake well, like this, before serving. Enjoy Sayuri! Kanpai! I'd like to send you our Kanpai from Kobe Hatsuru Sake Brewery Company. Hi, my name is Taichi. Uh, happy Sake Day! I'm Hiro. Happy Sake Day! I'm Ichiro. Happy Sake Day! Anna, Happy Sake Day! Happy <laughs> Hello. We are Ozaki Corporation. Please look at this uh, Japanese map. Our company is located here in west part of Japan. And this area is called Nadagogo. And it's a number one production area for sake. Our company named Ozeki means the second rank for second champion of small wrestler. We are so proud of this name because Yokozuna is top rank and cannot pass any further. But Ozeki always aim higher, challenge further. 
which represents our spirit. As you may know, Ozeki is very popular as we developed one cup Ozeki over 50 years ago. This is the world first sake in the cup. It was considered as an innovation. It's very handy and unique and easy to drink. Grab it and Open it and drink it. That's it. Next is Karatamba Honjozo. This is dry type of sake. And this sake goes well with fresh oyster and beef steak. Karatamba is traditional sake. And also, we have different type of product. It's called Hanawaka Sparkling and Ikezo Sparkling Jelly Shot. These are low alcohol, five, around 5%. Five it's new style sake. Please enjoy with champagne fruit grass like this. Okay, uh, please enjoy Ozeki Sake for International Sake Day. Cheers. Come Come bye. Bye. Meet you. I'm Masato. I'm a sell international sales rep of Kiku Masamune Sake Brewery. She is Nada uh, Kobe in Hyogo Prefecture in Japan. Now I'm at Kiku Masamune Sake Museum. Kiku Masamune produce superior dry sake and the cosmetics made with sake. Okay, uh, let's go inside. Let's try sake. This is our new brand, Hatu Moku, released in 2016. Mmm, it's good. The smell is like uh, apple and pears. The next, uh, let's try skincare lotion with sake. So beautiful. Do you think so? And now uh, you and we are having a hard time because of the pandemic. But the power of sake is infinite. Let's drink sake together and beat the corona. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm greeting you from Kobe, Japan. My name is Mina Tomoto from Kobe Shushinkan. At Kobe Shushinkan, we brew a sake called Fukuju. It was founded in 1751, the same year as the birth of James Madison, the first president of the United States. Fukuju has been run as a family business by the Yasufuku family since its establishment. And the current owner, Takenosuke Yasufuku, is the 13th generation. Fukuju's philosophy is to maintain the balance between tradition and innovation. By using both traditional and innovative methods, we are able to create very distinctive flavors that are modern and super clean, but also rich and complex. We highly recommend the Fukuji Blue. Sweet apricot aroma, smooth mouthfeel, the elegant aftertaste of Dergeline tea leaves, a long aftertaste. This is a premium product that has been served at official Nobel Prize events many times since 2008. Our mission is sustainable sake brewing. 
and we have been working on reducing our environmental impact for more than a decade. The bottle of Fuji Blue is a transparent bottle that can be recycled and finished with electrostatic coating. Ordinary colored bottles cannot be recycled, but this special technology has made it possible to recycle 450,000 bottles per year. As you know, water is a very important element in sake brewing. We have successfully reduced the amount of water used by 55% by introducing jet pipe bubble technology to the rice washing process, which requires the most water. We are also working on various other activities, so please take a look at our CSR report. Now, October 1st is International Sake Day. I would like to make a toast with you all. Come by.高山から蔵人がリクール焼酎そして近年では米の発酵技術を生かした甘酒を使った商品を作っています。ご紹介したいお酒は、当家桃の花というお酒です。蔵の中にある井戸水で仕込んだお酒です。井戸水は美味しんぼという漫画の中で紹介されたことがあるくら
日本酒酵母水から作られていますがこのお酒は日本酒酵母の代わりにワイン酵母を使用して仕込んでいますそのため甘い味わいと芳醇な香りが特徴で日本食はもちろんフランス料理中華料理などさまざまなお料理と相性抜群ですスペインで行われた新米2020の日本酒部門では最高金賞を受賞し韓国でも人気が非常に高まってきています日本酒を飲み慣れていない方からも飲みやすいと大好評のお酒ですもちろん日本酒を普段からよく飲まれる方にもおすすめです私たち自慢の香り花やぐ純米酒をぜひお試しください乾杯チアース Hi everyone, my name is Yuto. And I'm Sarah. And we're from Yagaki, USA. A little bit about our brewery.、Uh, our brewery was founded in Japan in 1666 in Hyogo. And、uh, it's oh, for over 350 years, our tradition, passion, and quality has been passed down from one generation to the next. In 1999, Yagaki started to brew here in Los Angeles, California. Under the leadership of Reiko Kushibiki, America's first female sake brewer. As pioneers in the sake industry, in 2019 we introduced Roga Sake with the mission to create a premium domestic sake line using Japanese craftsmanship with California's finest ingredients. And for the sake day, we're recommending two products. The first one is going to be our stapled Yaegaki Sake Junmai. Uh, this sake is very versatile, where you can drink from cold to warm, and it is a medium body,、uh, crisp sake. And today I'm introducing、uh, Roga Jumai Dai Ginjo. It has a beautiful fruity aroma. I love to enjoy it in a wine glass after work. And thank you for joining us, and happy sake day! Come on! Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> This is Hakushika Sake Museum located in Nishinomiya City, Hyogo Prefecture.、Mm. Our museum was founded in 1982 as Japan's one and only museum of Japanese sake and sakura or cherry blossom trees. Our museum consists of two buildings, which are Sakagura Kan and Kinen Kan. The museum building of Sakagura Kan is a former sake brewery built in 1869. In the building, visitors can explore the whole traditional sake brewing process through watching the traditional tools, videos, and listening to the songs of sake brewing. 
at Kinenkan, there are three exhibition rooms where the documents and artworks related to sake, sakura, and Japanese history and culture are exhibited. Please visit our museum when you can. And please also check our website for the monthly articles of sake and sakura in English. Happy International Sake Day! Come by! Cheers! Hello, my name is Hisao Inagaki, Consul General of Japan in Seattle. Today, we celebrate International Sake Day. Sake is an alcoholic beverage made by polishing and then fermenting rice. It has a long history in Japan, with written records of making sake dating back to the 8th century. Originally, sake was used as a religious offering sometimes referred to as rice wine, it can be enjoyed like wine. Yet, the traditional craft of brewing sake is closer to the brewing process of beer. Sake has a variety of characteristics that you can choose from sweet and dry, clear and cloudy, warm and cold. In recent years, the U.S. has become a leader in sake consumption with a growing number of American sake breweries and so many non-Japanese restaurants serving sake. Sake can be served with a variety of Western dishes and its purest form, made with only rice and water. It is vegan and gluten-free. Try out different types of sake to find your favorite. I personally am a big fan of sake, and today I would like to toast in celebration of International Sake Day with a glass of flavorful sake from Kyobo, which is the sister state of Washington State. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.